YouTube welcome back to the channel guys today I wanted to do a brief little demonstration and a talk about one of my favorite medicinal plants which also happens to be a wild edible and that is plantain or plantago as it's known we have two species that are very common here there are hundreds of species of several hundred all over the world but we have two that grow here and that is the broadleaf plantain or plantago major and there is also a long leaf version which is plantago lanceolata and that tends to grow a little further south i do see it up here occasionally just not as often but you can use both plants the same way and i'm going to show you what the plant looks like and we're going to get into a little bit of medicinal qualities of this plant stick with me okay this right here This is broadleaf plantain or plantago major. It is a wild edible and a pot herb, but makes very, very good medicine. So I'm gonna grab a couple of leaves of this. Maybe some of these smaller ones here, because I don't need to make much. And I'm gonna show you how to turn this into a wash to use for disinfecting wounds, promoting and speeding healing, and also the treatment of burns. The great thing about this, if you use it for wound wash, for the treatment of burns, insect bites, and everything else, is that it also is anti-inflammatory, has anti-inflammatory properties, and also reduces pain. So it is a fantastic herb to have in your arsenal when it comes to normal remedies and healing yourself. Okay, we'll get right on it. Welcome back. Okay, we're going to do a brief discussion about the plantain herb and how it works. Primary ingredient in plantain, or the primary compound that does all of the healing and has all this benefit, it's called allantonin. And it's used worldwide in health and beauty and for skin products and things like that because it keeps skin clean, moisturized, and blemish free. So it's put in all kinds of products. Um, comes from more, allantonin comes from more than just plantain, but plantain is one thing that we have here plenty that contains allantonin. Now, I use plantain for burns consistently. It's also good as a wound wash because plantain promotes clotting it's also antibacterial, so it kills bacteria and germs, so your wound does not go septic. It promotes the growth of healthy new skin cells and speeds healing. Also, minimizes scarring. So, man, you just can't, you can't go wrong using this stuff for wounds. Also, it's used in bites, you know, used for insect bites, like mosquito bites. Um, bee stings, things of that nature. It helps to draw out the venom of a bite or a sting and also reduces inflammation, which also reduces pain. So, extremely beneficial. Externally, it's used as a wash for acne. It's also used as a good treatment for poison ivy. It will help control the itching and burning of poison ivy, similar to what calamine lotion will do. And this is all because of the allantonin that is inside the plantain. So anyway, I'm going to get to it and we're going to make up a little bit of medicine. I'm going to show you how to use this as a wash. Be right back. All right, so really breezy day, so the wind's really picking up. So I hope you guys can hear me. I'll try to talk a little louder. Not too loud, though. The goose will start going off. But anyway, I've taken my plantain. And I've simply cut it up and thrown it in my mortar, or my pestle, I should say. Now I'm going to take a little bit of water, throw in my glacier cup, and I'm just going to warm it up. doesn't have to be boiling, but warm water helps to leach quicker than cold water. And this water is pretty cool because it's fresh from the well. 
so I'm going to warm this up. I'm not going to record that. You guys don't need to see me warm up water on an alcohol stove. So I'll be right back. Okay, as I said, not boiling or anything, but just good and warm, about like bath water. That's all you really need. So I'm going to add just a little bit of this warm water into my mortar now. Set all this off to the side. And we're going to macerate this up a little bit. We're going to basically use the mortar and pestle to press the compound that we want out of this plant and make a nice medicine. Now if I were using this externally, especially to treat a burn, you're naturally going to want to let it cool completely down. The last thing you want to put on a burn is anything warm. So we would let this go room temperature as much as possible. Even cool it down a little bit if you had some cool water or some ice or something like that, you can speed that process just a little bit. Because if you're suffering a burn, you want to get medicine on that burn as quickly as possible. There we go. Macerate this a little bit. And as you can see, this water has gone a little bit green. Because of the heat of the water and the action of the mortar and pestle, it's extracting the medicine much, much more quickly than it would be if you just threw these leaves in some cold water and wait. Add a little more water here. Okay, now if I had a bandana or something like that and I was treating a burn, all I would have to do is take my cloth or even just my fingertips, dip into the medicine here and just put it directly on the affected area. And if you have plantain, try this at home. Because plantain, this compound also has a cooling effect on the skin. You put this on, it gets cold. Kind of like icy hot with lidocaine, something like that. Lidocaine tends to numb nerves but to me it also has kind of a cold feeling that's what plantain does it has a cold feeling a cooling effect on the skin draws a sting out of a burn okay let me tell you a story it's been eight or nine years ago now I was down in Oklahoma with some cousins in Bartlesville and my second cousin we'd spent the day out of Copan Lake and he'd spent way too much time in the water, wasn't paying attention, and suffered a sunburn, a really bad one, all across his back and shoulders. Second degree burn, and he was in absolute misery. Couldn't wear a shirt or anything because it was so painful. So we had plantain growing all over the place down there. So I did just what I'm doing now, and I made a wash for him. And we took this plantain, and we wiped him down with it really really good it immediately drew the sting out of his sunburn and he felt tremendously better he didn't suffer all the rest of the day he was even able to sleep that night when he should have been in absolute misery because we put this on him again before he went to bed it cooled his burn so that he could sleep and his sunburn even though it was a second degree burn it was a pretty bad burn never even peeled okay he healed completely without even peeling. That's how well plantain works to treat burn. All right, guys. Thank you. If you made it through the video this far, thank you very much for your view. Don't forget, if you haven't yet and you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button. Questions, comments, drop those down below. Reach over there, ding the notification bell, select on the notifications if you want to be notified when I upload. Please. 
click like on the video if you like the video. Whether you do anything else, whether you subscribe or comment, click the like button if you like the video. Thank you very much, guys, for your views and your support, and I will get another video out to you guys as soon as I can. Y'all have a good one.